Take me to the goddamn doctor. Man, I'm getting, man, I, I'm getting old. I should be able to cut a fall sitting down. Just break it off. <laughs> now I got to lean. Could that motherfucker hurt? My liver be swollen all goddamn night. Oh man, I'm get, let me tell you, breaking wind is a bitch. See, women can break wind with no motherfucking problem. They break wind while they cooking. They think this shit is cooked, they cute, you know, be cooking. Boop. You hear that? Stinking ass bitch, you got that right out here. Fought by the black eyed peas, stinking ass. White folks are motherfucker too. I be seeing y'all, see, one thing I like about white folks, they secure. White folks are cute. They don't give a fuck, man. They dig their nose ass in public. Fuck. White folks will brick a fart off and tell you what the fuck caused it. <laughs> Board of pastrami got my stomach fucked up. You know I ain't lying. White folks talk with their hands because they're secure. Black folks, we are insecure people. Because we always think somebody watching our ass. All every time we walk and shit, we always looking. Fuck you keep looking at. Because you. you know you up to no goddamn good. That's what the fuck we looking at. Boy, white folks, man, I seen them walk down the street and stumble. You ever see them stumble? They'll go back and examine what the fuck they stumbled over. I feel just walking. No, we, we, we ain't going to go back and examine a goddamn thing. Black folks, we cool conscious. We think, live cool, everything cool, slick. Even when we talk, we ain't doing nothing. We gotta be cool. Kiss a motherfucker looking at you, though. Know. Even we run for the bus, we run cool. I ain't never seen a motherfucker run like this before. Man, I miss that motherfucker. That's how we are. We fuck cool, talk cool. I'm in the airport, I seen a white lady with a leash. Come back. Come here. I seen that a bitch. I remember a look used to freeze the fuck at you. When your mama used to look at you, used to be laughing all the way in the top balcony. Your mama be right here. When she look up, you broke your laugh off. <laughs> But see, our parents had fucked up ways, too. They were the best ways, but they were fucked up ways. They fucked with your mind. It was torture. Psychological blackmail. My mom used to fuck my mind up all day. Tell you shit like, <laughs> when your daddy get home, I'm going to have him beat your motherfucking ass. Now go on outside and play. How the fuck you going to play under some pressure like that? How you gonna enjoy yourself? And you know, it's nine o'clock in the morning, this heifer done told you that shit. This motherfucker don't get home to eight. You got all day of suffering, looking sad at a motherfucker. And every time somebody mention your daddy coming home, you all right until they mention that motherfucker coming home. And you'll start crying by your goddamn self. Remember how you used to get a whooping and your mama hit you? See, kids don't cry no more. Kids don't get no whooping. We used to get a whooping and it'd be a pause. It'd be a 10 second fucking pause. You scream first, then you'd be silent for 10 fucking seconds. After that 10 second pause, there's another holler. When you get a whooping like that, motherfucker, you've been hurt. 
Well, that motherfucker hit you. a whoop. Man, she sits up there, man. I think about that shit. Remember, remember, see, I'm going to tell you about psychological blackmail. Psychological blackmail, when, when, when motherfucker ain't touch you but make you cry by telling you something. My mom used to tell me, tell my brother, says, go outside and find me something to whoop your ass with. And you know those stupid motherfuckers be outside looking for shit. She needs something hard. Because if you bring something soft, she's going to whoop you a long motherfucking time. I told her, I was four years old. That's when I first started cussing. I said, I wish this bitch would tell me to go find her something. This motherfucker crazy, this motherfucker. Going to tell me to go outside and find her something to hit me with? Bitch, you crazy, motherfucker. I couldn't wait. I broke a glass on purpose. Knock that motherfucker down. Kick that bitch. Kick. Pick that glass up. I said, I'm not picking the motherfucking thing up. She said, go outside and find me something to whoop you with. I said, motherfucker, you sick then, a motherfucker. She said, who are you talking to? I said, you, you black motherfucker. My brother said, don't say that. I said, fuck her. I'm already going to get a whooping, so fuck it. Get this shit out your chest, man. No, man, get your shit off your chest. Now these little motherfuckers, you can't touch it. These some bitches tell you what they gonna eat. So I got a problem with that. When a little motherfucker don't pay no rent, don't buy no groceries, but looking in the refrigerator like he bought something. Close that goddamn refrigerator, some of my bitch. You ain't put no milk, crackers, or nothing. You ain't got no business looking if you ain't cooking. My little niece gonna tell me I ain't hungry. I said, I don't give a fuck. You ain't hurt me, bitch. I'm going on a hunger strike. Oh, man, please. I hope you don't eat till every time you try to walk, you fall the fuck out. Dizzy, bitch. That's why I think. I'm going to be in jail talking about I'm not going to eat again. Who you fucking with? Man, please. Kids are motherfuckers. Man, we'll go to school. Not, not, not parents now. Nah. See, parents, punk-ass parents now. Nah. Punk, sissy, chump-ass parents. No, nah, I'm serious. Y'all make me sick. Y'all some pussies. Not my son. You wasn't that bitch. You don't know what the fuck that motherfucker been doing. I can't believe. Say you can't believe it. But the motherfucker did it. My mother used to come to school, shock the fuck at you. Just walk up. Everybody be mumbling. You don't even know the motherfuckers just walk through the door. You just hear everybody mumbling. Who mama that? Who mama that? She be in the corner with that wig cocked and shit. That's when you get a peek at her ass. That's when you get busy playing like you working. That's what everybody, oh, that's your motherfucking mama. That's your mama there. Remember you used to walk, your mama walked you to school or go to the store, you walk 12 steps behind her. She come on, come on up here, come on, I'm coming. Do you want nobody to think your mama working with you? See, my mama didn't play that shit. My mama whoop your ass doing prayer. We grew up in the church. My mama would break prayer. When a motherfucker break prayer, they ain't playing with you, boy. When a motherfucker on bending knees, hands, talking to the Lord, and stop to slap the fuck out of you. You better quit fucking with her. My mother used to be up there, huh? You know, Father, you've been so good to me. And, excuse me, Father. And go back saying prayer. See, I missed all my fucking days. 
See, parents now, nah, man, you can't say shit, can't do shit. Kids know everything. Kids fucking. I wasn't fucking man until I was fucking. <laughs> that ain't none of your business. Some shit is sacred. These little motherfuckers fucking when they eight. Nine. What type of shit is that? I wasn't thinking about no fucking pussy at eight years old. She want to give you some pussy? No, no, no. My brother used to fuck me up. See, see my brother used to fuck me up, though, because he had me scared of pussy. No, he did. He said, see, can you believe? See, ain't no more uncles in the world no more. Remember your uncles and shit you talk to you? My uncle and brother used to fuck over me. They said, man, a good piece of pussy and a cold glass of water kill a motherfucker. I believe that shit till I was 19 years old, man. I wouldn't drink no water after no pussy, believe me. Man, I did the pussy one time, man, in high school, man, we were laying in the bed, we were breathing hard. <sighs> yeah. All right. Woo! She said, you all right? I said, babe, I'm straight, straight. You like it? Yeah, shit. Who? <laughs> huh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> shit. You want some water? My brother said, I didn't call that heifer no goddamn more. My brother said, what happened to that girl? I said, man, that motherfucker tried to kill me. Try to offer me some goddamn water out of a good piece of pussy. He laughed for four goddamn days. See, you don't know that they should fuck over you. Remember, you, man, you be so glad to get some pussy, you want to prove it? Man, I guess you got some pussy. Man, you ain't got no pussy. You a goddamn liar. No, you didn't. Yes, smell it. You, you, you show it in. What type of motherfucker smells somebody else's finger? Nasty some of my bitch. There's some stupid motherfuckers out here, man. Dude, there's some stupid grown people out here. Grown folks stupid as motherfucker, man. Some shit self bought on. And I was coming in today, like I told you earlier. Man, grown folks be stupid. You know it's cold, the motherfucker outside. Huh? Who? Okay, shit. Motherfucker ain't got no goddamn clothes on. Here it is. See, women look good. Women go to the extreme to look good. They have short dresses on, but they had the bra. They had the bra girdle connecting. They had a little thing that just snapped between the legs. The shoes be too goddamn little. You know your feet hurt for a motherfucker. You know you ain't got nothing but an hour and a half to walk good in those some bitches. Man, by, when y'all leave here tonight, watch these some bitch walking out there, some bitch, man. That black toe there that fell off that motherfucker, man. That big toe throbbing like a son bitch. That head hurt no more. They can't pick their feet up no more. They start sliding no more. Watch them. You know what's funny? When you get home and they start taking their clothes off, this some funny shit. Women can't wait to get out that motherfucking garment they got on, boy. When they unsnap that goddamn bra and snap that, 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 that old coochie clot thing down there, man, watch them tear that shit off and start scratching like a motherfucker. Shit! God damn! Watch it! Watch it! Man, I be busting up. Hold back, be white. Like they done fell in some detergent or something. Oh, they funny. Women funny. Especially when, when they want to make love to you after you go out. Now, everybody know the routine of going out. You buy some new clothes. Get your hair done. Get your nail done. New shoes. Get your hair fixed. Go get something to eat. Go do a dance. Later on, do the pussy. Now, you know when you have been tired, don't feel like doing no pussy. You lay on your stomach, so can't nobody fuck with you. Your wife asks you, I want to get a little bit of that thing later on. I said, okay, ain't no problem, ain't no problem. You don't feel like fucking at all. You don't want no pussy, you don't want no pussy. 
Uh, when you go to bed an hour early, try to go to sleep. But you lay on your stomach so they can't get to it. Then she come up, this motherfucker sleep. You hear everything this ever talking about. <laughs> That's when she try to slide her hand through your thigh. And you press that, mother. You press it. You know that line? What well, kiss it? Women love you to do all sex. I don't know what it is. Women love all oh, women. Women, y'all, y'all love. Look at you. See, look at you. You ain't doing that. You sleep. No, I ain't sleep. You still on that medicine? I got one more day. One more day. Well, why don't you come and kiss it? Well, you, you don't kiss me. You don't kiss me. Blacks ain't doing shit without no trade-off. White folks, they just come on. Come on down here and, and, and make love to, to, to my coochie, Fred. Because white folks caught something for real. I don't mind. You don't even have to ask me, Beth. I'll give you a hick direct to me, fucking with me. Black folk, we try to play, we don't eat no pussy. Black men like to eat pussy too, but we play hard. Come on, suck it, suck what? And, and black and sister give names for it. Helen. Where's she at? Where's she at? She right down there. Well, you got to do me too, do me too. Do me too. Why black folks say this shit three or four times? You know, you got to suck mine. You got to suck mine. You got to suck mine. <laughs> Black women don't suck no dick unless it's your birthday or something. Or somebody died in your family. <laughs> your auntie died. Oh, you sad that a motherfucker. <laughs> she gone up to heaven. You, you, you think she'd be all right? Well, the way she used to cuss, you never know. Black women do not like to suck no dick. You got to put money on the counter for a black woman to suck some dick. And it can't be a dollar short. Can't you? And then they do this shit wrong. Man, I had one man a long time ago, long time ago. So that's when you're young. You know when you like 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 now, see, some women think you do shit, you know, men are are are, are real silly, that we just sex conscious. That used to be years ago. That's not no more. Too much shit been going on. Cause a motherfucker walk past here butt naked. Don't mean, you know, I wanna slide some dick in her ass or something. Cause she says she wanna suck my dick, I'm gonna let her. No, no, no. It ain't happening like that. I gotta care for some gun now. You know, I just don't want no coochie cause coochie looking at me. You know what I'm saying? No, that's for real. Long time ago, long time ago, you don't give a fuck, you ignorant, you immature. You know, you do some stupid shit like that. I remember a long time ago, man, with this woman, long time ago, long, long, long time ago, you know. She was good people, she was good people, you know. She wasn't the most attractive motherfucker in the world, man. But she was good people. You know, she, she had a crack to her, too, for crack. 45 to grand on crack, you know. She go, she go open a bottle of pop with that motherfucker, you know what I mean? She said, man, I'm going to suck your dick, brother. You know, I, I didn't know. I said, I don't give a fuck, you know. You know, she, she wasn't cute. Like I said, she wasn't the best looking. But she was good people, you know. And man, we was in the back, and she started doing it. And her teeth was, like I said, it was cracked. You know, but you young, you dumb, you don't give a fuck, you know. And then while she was doing it, it wasn't, it wasn't feeling good. It was sharp, it was sharp. You know, you know and, I, and I couldn't hold it. I said, God damn, you're cutting it, you're cutting it. You know, <laughs> but my stupid ass let her keep doing it, you know. Blood every motherfucking way, you know. I went home, man, and I put some tissue on it, you know. You stupid, you're young. Mama, what's wrong with you, you know? I slid on third base with some glass. <laughs> yeah, glass, she cut it, she cut it. I had another one, man, long. She was good people, good people, you know. 
That's when you know, that's when you be wrong. See, when you mature, you don't treat women like that no more. You know, all of us used to do that stupid shit, immature shit. She was ugly. I hate to use the word ugly. She wasn't so attractive. But she were good people. You know, she had a patch on her eye, you know. You know, the ugly people treat you right, though. They treat you nice. And I, you know, she said, Bernie, why you always come over to the house late? 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock in the morning. You know, I said, they, you know, I be getting off work late, you know. She said, but you work days, you know. I said, you know, I be, I be doing things, you know, for the family and stuff. So I, I did feel kind of bad. So I said, I said, I'm going to take her out and show my appreciation. Because she would do anything for me, right? So I took her to the restaurant. So I called a friend of mine who had a restaurant. I made sure they was closed. I told him to hold it open. So it was just her and I, we sitting in the restaurant, and I was short of dough, but I knew he was going to take care of me. You know, I had the salad, she had the soup. You know, the soup was piping hot, she was good people, you know. So we sitting at the table, she put the patch on her forehead to give her, no, she was good people, man, she was good people, you know. So she was eating the soup, and the steam of the soup was getting in her eye, you know. I didn't know it, you know, no, she was good people, though, you know. So I, I accidentally fell in the soup. I didn't know it. I didn't know it. I swear, I cleft for the Lord. I didn't know it. So when we went and got a hotel room and everything, you know, she didn't know she accidentally ate the eye, you know. So we went and got a hotel room. You know, we in the bed kissing and hugging, hugging and kissing. I'm sucking on her neck, kissing on her breasts, just working myself towards her, you know, her privacy, you know. And she said she got nervous. No, Mac, I, I don't want to do it. No, I don't want to do it. I said, well, if you don't want to do it, you know, I ain't going to force you. I said, but just relax. Let me try it one more time. Relax. I ain't going to hurt you. I'm going to be gentle. You know, so I had to start over because she fucked up my momentum, you know. <laughs> so I'm sucking on her neck again, kissing on her breasts, get down to her secret. You know, she jumped up again. No, I don't feel like it. Now I'm getting angry. Now I said, look here, help. I spent a lot of money out here. <laughs> Sit your punk ass down now. <laughs> fuck all that. You good people, but fuck that. You know? So she's laid back down, man. I had to start all fucking over. So I'm kissing on her neck again, sucking on her breasts. I got down towards, you know, the privacy, you know. All that jumping back and forth she was doing made her eye roll down. No, so when I got down towards the privacy, her eye was looking dead at me. I said, this motherfucker don't trust no goddamn about it. But you know what's funny to me? As I, look, I went to a funeral the other day. Now, black funerals, I don't care about. And I'm going to tell you why. I don't care about funerals, period. Because I personally believe that you show your love to a person while they're here. No, I really do. I, no, I, I'm not bullshit. But I think it's a bunch of bullshit for me to come here and look over a person. I don't know you like that. First of all, you don't know I'm there. So all the things I do for you while you're alive is more important to me than coming, sitting up there, staring at somebody that I don't even know like that. You understand what I'm saying? So I, I think black people are a bunch of bullshit. White people, man, I, I respect y'all. Because you all don't bullshit. Motherfucker died last night, y'all bury his ass the, the next day. Fuck him, he dead. He costing me money, fuck him, he costing me money. I can't fuck around with this son, bitch. He ain't doing no good to me. He died last night while I'm keeping around the Tuesday folk. That's dead weight. <laughs> Get rid of the motherfucker. Fuck him. He can't talk. Fuck him. You know, black folks, no. You died last night. We got to bear this motherfucker. We got to have the visitation, the wake, the funeral, then the fucking burial. Now, the wake fucks me up. Whoever invented this bullshit need their ass whooped. You just sitting in a chair in front of the coffin, staring at this motherfucker. And every now and then this motherfucker look like he breathing. Every now and then. Motherfucker breathing. And white funeral be all nice and bright. You ever know what I'm saying? You ever went to a white funeral? The light be on, the coffin be there, be the white sheet on there. The guy come and sing, <clears throat> and the Lord is good. 
He's so mercy and ah ah oh, and they close that mother call. Ah, uh, no, this fat bitch got to come up here and sing an A and B fucking selection and sing one of the old sharecropper ass song. And looking at the, the Seath family, the front row, trying to make you cry on fucking purpose. <laughs> Just a lot. Take my <laughs> hand. me on <laughs> I said all right man bitch who you looking at singing like that <laughs> so you make me feel like I'm next and shit you know look the fuck over there quit standing at me singing ah man I'm gonna fuck you up you singing like that <laughs> 